Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a collar graph using different tapes and sticky back plastic. So traditionally a collar graph can be a collage that's then varnished or shellacked um, and then it takes about 24 hours to dry. So we're going to skip that step by using the different tapes and that will form our printing plate. So you can see you can get lots of different textures by using those different surfaces to print. So you'll need a few different things to make your plate with and to pull the print. Um, a piece of cardboard to form the basis of your plate, so it could just be um, an old cereal box, something like that. Um, you'll need a variety of tapes to make different surfaces, so I've got paper tape, cello tape, this aluminium tape that I really love that you can get from um, builders merchants or DIY shops. And I've also got some vinyl or sticky back plastic which is great for cutting bigger shapes from. And when after you've made the plate to print with you're going to need some ink, a bit of perspex to roll out on a roller and then a clean roller or a wooden spoon or a Japanese burnisher to make your print with. So first off making the plate. I've started this one with a little bit of aluminium tape um, which is really cool stuff to work with. You can press into that as well to make different surfaces so you could just draw into it and those lines should be picked up when you print. So I'm just going to make something really abstract with my tape, just kind of a fun way to work. If you wanted to do something that was more illustrative I would use the vinyl, draw on the back of the vinyl and then cut that out with a scalpel. It's a little bit more advanced I'd say so this is just kind of playing with the different surfaces and making a little collage. Which is something that I could do all day, find it really soothing. So I've got aluminium tape, paper tape and that vinyl. So you don't want any of the layers um, to stick out loads more than the other ones because you will just print that the top layer. So make sure that it's fairly even but you'll get different textures coming through when you print. Um, so I think I'm going to stay super simple and go with that. So when you're happy with your plate, get your piece of perspex, squeeze out a little bit of ink onto it and then roll it into a little square so that it's a nice smooth thin layer of ink. You don't want to whack too much ink onto your plate because you'll just lose all the detail and it will get a little bit messy. And just remember that you can always build up the layers if you think it's looking a bit too pale. So once my roller's evenly covered with ink, I just roll it onto my collar graph plate. You can go diagonally to get into the corners. If you want to wipe off any areas that you don't want to print, just get a little cloth, kind of wipe those down. And just try and make sure it's evenly covered. 
by getting in with the corner, the little edge of your roller. So your first print generally, especially when printing by hand, will be a little bit pale, but don't worry about that, you can just build up the layers of ink. So I'm going to just use some copy paper, any thin smooth paper is great, so just cheap copy paper, drop it down over your plate and then just use your hand to kind of stick it to the ink so it's not going to slide around and then you can use a clean roller roll over your plate making sure you're getting right into the corners or you can use a wooden spoon to burnish You can use different pressures over different areas and so then some parts will be stronger and some parts will be a little bit more faded. Or the little Japanese bamboo burnisher. Again, just circular motion over your print. If you have a press, of course you can use a press but if you're just printing on your kitchen table, these are handy little things to have. So I'll just check one corner to see if it's printed. So I can see some blue coming up there. Just peel that off. And there you have it. So I'm quite happy with that. I think that's quite nice. So you could clean your plate off now, um, re-ink it with a different colour and overprint, and you'll get some quite interesting things going on if you have a bit more of a play with it but that's the basics and if you have any questions or any other printing techniques without a press you'd like to see let me know in the comments below